Well, what's going on YouTube? <clears throat> Finally back. My last video's been quite a while. But we're here in Illinois in the spring. I've seen on social media a lot of people have been finding some mushrooms. Got off work a little early today. So pardon the rain, but Figured we'd do a little bit of mushroom hunting, looking for some Illinois morales and see if we can find a couple. Been noticing the subscribers, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for sticking by me. I say I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded a video, but just give me a little bit of time and get some more going. Just gotta check my schedule and all that good stuff. So. <clears throat> down here in the timber and we'll see what we find. Skunk cabbage is doing pretty good so that's a good sign at least from all my years of hunting. I don't know if you can hear the rain but had a lot of rain last week and a lot of places are flooded. We even had a levee break not too far from where we are and feel bad for the people over there, but thank God we haven't been flooded out or nothing really here. Creek's full. Or running pretty steady anyways, I shouldn't say full, but running pretty steady. A little bit of green foliage. Now for you beginning mushroom hunters out there, <clears throat> one thing I have always been told is the hardest part is finding the first morale that's sticking up. Now once you see the first morale, they start popping with your eyes by then. You can see with that kind of We'll call it debris, but the branches and twigs and leaves and stuff must have been pretty flooded down here. Hopefully it's good. Maybe we'll find a record morale or something. When you're out in the timber, if you see that right there, don't quote me on that because I'm not positive, but you never you want to watch always where you put your hands because I think that might possibly be poison ivy. Again, I'm not positive on that, so don't quote me, but it's still, you always want to know what you're putting your hand on or that type of stuff. Otherwise, you get a bad case of itching. Wow, I didn't realize it did. Must have a lot of water running down through here. <clears throat> See, the skunk cabbage is doing really good, so that's a good sign. Now, if you guys see the first one in here, you'll have to leave in the comments below spotted one if I'm not seeing it yet. Those mushrooms are doing pretty good on the side of that tree. You never want to eat a mushroom unless you know what it is, familiar with it, that type of thing, because there's a lot of toxic ones out there that you don't want anything to do with. Looks like a buck stepped right there to get a drink. There again, that's a weird looking mushroom. To tell you the truth, I don't know how many species there is, but <clears throat> only ones I'm really familiar with is couples, so. If 
So we had a couple of really nice days here last week, and a couple of the guys at work were saying that there was people finding them, so... Find at least one or two. Why, this cr creek is almost looks like a road, doesn't it? And if anybody watching this has already found any mushrooms. Comment down below where you're located, what state, or if you want to, you know, name the town that you're in, that's fine. But, uh, when you found your first mushrooms, or how long you've been hunting mushrooms. So we're here in Illinois, and it's about the end of the first week of May. And man, has it been a soggy one. Well, there we go. Last week, or excuse me, first week of May, latter part of the week in Illinois. And there you go, folks, the first morale mushroom of the season. Nice little beauty. I'd say it's probably right around maybe three and a half, four inches tall. And do you remember when I said that uh, if you find one, usually they start popping around to where you, your eyes will start gathering and finding more? There's his buddy right there. Pretty nice size. So, we'll put those in our basket here. Sorry about the camera work. Don't mean to make anybody dizzy. Put those in there. And now that we know that they're out, take a real good look around this here hill. Because there should be some more, I would think. 
We at least know that they're out. There you go. There's another one right there. See how the, it just starts popping out when you see them? So now as I'm walking, I was doing this before, but now as I'm walking I want to be really, really, really careful that I don't step on one. You guys see any more that I'm not seeing? Oh, I would say this is a nice one, but as you can see, I'm going to leave this one out here to go to seed for a simple reason. I think a buck may have already beat me to it. Not seeing any along the edge of the water yet. And we're about, I don't know, maybe about 10, 15 feet from the actual water of the creek. If that means anything, I've heard some morel hunters say it does, some say it doesn't. But you be the judge of that. But I'm going to walk up here just a little bit and see. Not seeing any right off back here. So maybe the water does have a little bit to do with it. I haven't seen any along there. Head back down to the skunk cabin and see if there's some more down in here.
<clears throat> There's a weird looking mushroom. There's his buddies right there. There's another one. I'm guessing those are toxic. I would not. So the first thing about very many of them just morales. Let's walk up here. Top of this stuff. Not seeing any over there. Here's one. There's another one. Couple more. One here. There.
Let's get up there so I don't have to carry them so far. <clears throat> I see another one at least. Do you see any more, folks? Oh, there's one. Not seeing any over there. We'll cross this creek real quick and see if we see any. <clears throat> And I'm not seeing any more. So, looks like that's going to conclude. Whoa. Nothing like running through trying to keep your socks dry.
Nope, I don't see any more. So, and it is starting to rain a little bit more. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, guys. And once again, to each and every one of you guys and gals that have stuck by my side on this YouTube adventure and kept your subscription with me, thank you so very much. And uh, to all new people and everybody just checking out this channel, thank you so much for checking us out. I can't tell you the exact number of videos that I have, but I know there's over a hundred on here. And I do basically videos in my spare time, <clears throat> which is trying to make it more often, let's put it that way. But uh, I'm just super busy all the time. So I plan to put more videos on here as I get the time. And you guys uh, keep watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so incredibly much again. Follow me on here. Uh, I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. And uh, really appreciate you guys checking out the video. So, from Illinois. And in the see mushroom uh, hunting video. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next time. And... Uh, if you guys are out mushroom hunting, best of luck to you. Hope you guys find a record one. Thanks a lot and have a great day.